today we've got another story for you. So should we start with our song story there? Let us go. Welcome, welcome everyone, it's story time, let's have some fun. Close your eyes and zoom away, where will the story take us today? Will we go under the sea? What kind of fishes will we see? Will we zoom up very high in a rocket to the sky? Or maybe we'll go under the ground where only the moles can be found. <gasps> Ducky's got a mole! Have you found any moles today, Story Bear? <gasps> what was that? Was that a mole? Have you got any moles at home today? Let's look inside our story sack and see where we're going today. Where will we go today? <laughs> Strange noise, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm not sure what that was. It doesn't sound like a vehicle and I thought we were doing races. So if there's anything else in there, shall we? <laughs> Sounds like I've got a load of animals in my bag today. I wonder what kind of adventure we're going on. Should we have a look? Let's see. <gasps> oh! It's a the Champion Hare. It's a book all about a hare. I wonder what this has got to do with racing. Let's have a look. Oh, it does look like he's doing some events. He's throwing something. Maybe jumping over something. That one could be maybe running. Let's see what he gets up to. The Champion Hare. Sports Contest Arena. Oh look, all the animals are off. <gasps> I wonder what they're up to. Every few years a sports contest takes place where animals come to jump and to race. The fittest, the fastest, the strongest compete, all hoping to prove they're a champion athlete. <gasps> I wonder if Hare's going to take part. A young hare arrived at the outdoor arena. Unsure what to do, he asked a hyena, who fell about laughing <coughs> and said with a grin, There aren't any contests a small hare could win. <coughs> Don't be fooled, said the hare, although I look thin, I'm strong and I'm fast and I never give in. A parrot squawked loudly <coughs> from high in a tree. If you've come to take part, young hare, follow me. They went past a wood with monkeys and gibbons, swinging from tree tops and dancing with ribbons. Parrot flew to a branch and called out to Hare. Ah, the start of the sprint is that rock over there. Oh, look, he's in a race. One, two, three. He's got bib number three on. Ooh, he's racing against two other people. A cheetah sat waiting, a smile on her face. An ostrich strode over and took up his place. Hare joined the line-up beside the smug cheetah. He knew she was fast, but he thought he could beat her. An elephant waved a palm leaf up high, then swept it down low and let out a cry. <coughs> the cheetah was gone in a flash of gold fur, and the ostrich's legs became just a blur. The dust rose in clouds as they sped down the track. And all Hare could see was the smug cheetah's back. Hooray! Hare, you've come second, called Parrot. Well done. Let's get to the long jump. It's already begun. A slim gazelle leapt and sprang through the air. On landing, his hoof prints were marked with great care. Oh, look, there they are. The young Hare jumped next and he knew he'd done well. He could see he'd gone further. Than the gazelle. Oh, he might win. I've done it. I've won, cried the hare with delight. But just then a kangaroo hopped into sight. He leapt the whole track with an effortless bound, leaving big winning footprints clear in the ground. Well, at least I've tried, 
said the hare with a sigh. Then spying a coconut, he heaved it up high. He hopped once, then threw it as far as he could. And Parrot called out, Ah! That shortcut looks good! Crashing through bushes and shouted, oh, oh, I am the best! Charged a huge hairy gorilla, beating his chest. Oh! With a boulder clenched in his big furry fist, he flung back his arm and bent back his wrist. The boulder flew off with a thundering whoosh and disappeared into a distant thorn bush. All the animals cheered except the small hare. He knew who had won, but it just felt unfair. I jump, the parrot called out. The kangaroo's boxing, so he's not about. Hare ran to the jump, springing high as he could. He soared up and over the long piece of wood. The, carrot, the parrot cried, Great, that's a mere cat and a half, which caught the attention of the passing giraffe, who stepped over the jump and said with a grin, Let's raise it a mere cat. Then see who will win. At dusk came the start of the quarter mile race. The hare tried his best, but he couldn't match the pace. <sighs> I just need a rest and a nourishing carrot. I'll be back tomorrow, he promised the parrot. Hare woke the next day feeling sure he would win. He leapt over hurdles through discus with spin. His pole vault was high and his javelin went flying. He didn't come first, but he never stopped trying. The final event was a long distance race. A camel and zebra jostled for space. And in between them, looking ever so small, sat the hare, ears alert for the elephant's call. Hearing it first, he shot off at top speed. He got a great start and was out in the lead. He ran like the wind and he never looked back. For most of the race, he was leading the pack. But right near the end, his legs began shaking. His heart started pounding. His muscles were aching. The zebra raced past him and won by a head. The young hare had lost, but he smiled as he said, Oh, I've jumped and I've pole vaulted, thrown things and run. I've not come first, but I've still had great fun. Parrot laughed and said, Ah, don't you know what you've done? The da decathlon is ten events and you have won. It takes stamina, strength and speed to compete. So you've won the medal for top athlete. The animals came and stood watching close by as Elephant carefully lifted her high. And then they all cheered, every animal there. And they cried, hip hooray for our champion hair. Hip hip hooray for the champion hair. Hip hip hooray for the champion hair. There we go. So a different kind of race in this book but a race nevertheless, and a brave little hare who never gave up. He was thin and he was small, but he was the best at all the events, even though he didn't win a single one. Well done, hare. Right, well, we will see you next week for another adventure. I hope you have fun making your cars, and maybe you can do some events in your garden this weekend. wonder how you could do a long jump. Maybe you could lay some cushions out and have a go at jumping to see who could get the furthest over. Or you could do a high jump where you jump over a stick somebody holds. Or maybe you could have a go at throwing a ball and see who can throw it the furthest. Just make sure there are no windows if you're having a go at that one. Or maybe we could have a little mini sports event. That would be good fun, wouldn't it, Story Bear? I wonder if you would be able to jump higher than me. Or maybe I would be able to jump higher than you. <gasps> we'll have to have a contest and see. Maybe we'll take some pictures and put them on the page. Right, we will see you soon. Have a lovely weekend. Goodbye, goodbye everyone. Story time's over. We hope you've had fun. Story Bear's tired. Ooh! He's had a very busy time and he needs to warm up for all our events we're doing this weekend. He's going to have a rest now. So we'll say goodbye. Goodbye.
We'll see you soon. Bye.